I think when people walk in and see our work for the first time, they don't always necessarily understand who does what. I get a lot of credit sometimes for being more part of these big pieces, but really, I mean, I'm a photographer and I'm an artist, but a lot of these, you know, these pieces start with a photograph and then they turn into, you know, big built out frames and, you know, that involve sculptures and moving parts and mechanics. I think when people see our stuff, they're looking at it and they know that it's collaborative. Most of the time, I think they're trying to figure out what am I looking at? Is that a photograph or is that a drawing? This is a friend of mine who I've been wanting to photograph for a, a very long time. It's when she brought this amazing handmade dress. I, I just loved it. And so that was the whole image started with that dress and it was built from there. I'm not trying to be surreal or trying to be anything other than tell a story. We're 100%, in my opinion, story driven. So when you look at any of our work, and if you ever have the time to ask us what it's about, you'll really get a mouthful and a mindful of what, whatever that image is about. The meaning behind this whole piece is energy. So energy can be directed towards each other. And if you were to position them opposite, we're not trying to change the world with our art. We're just kind of trying to tell our story of that's what kind of the, we're experiencing, kind of even you know, past and the present and the future. And so now the energy is directed away from each other. The odds of us meeting and the odds of her being an amazing photographer and the odds of me being a weirdo that can put things together for story's sake is a beautiful thing and it's 100% natural. I would find a, a great kid with a great personality and uh, you know, an imagination that liked to go play, and we would go and we would just shoot and have fun. And it was very about creating a world, an imaginary world with these kids, and then that was where the photos came from. That was the process for me. And then I would just simply give him those characters. It's changed a lot over the years, and now it's, it's turned into more custom work, which, which I really like. Um, you know, people who are interested in being photographed to then become part of the work. This is a piece about time. Tick, tock, tick. I do tock. everything in the spectrum of what fine art is, sculpting, painting. We write music, we make music. We do everything that we have learned up until this point, after all these years, has basically been developed to make film, to make motion pictures, motion art. And so when you see one of my sculptures and when you see one of Katie's pieces of still frame photography, especially the black and whites, what you're looking at is the early developments of a film. So when you start to put those two things together, you have a background, you have a story, you have a place, and you have a person, and you have a reason for him to be there or her to be there. And that's where we've come from, and that's where we're going all at the same time. So even though I had my digital camera, most of my hard gigs I shoot digital, it was a while before I was able to give up the darkroom and that process, but it really took the addition of the video because it's all, it's all so much easier and you have so many more options. It really has helped our collaboration move into the digital arts. Pull the string, the hands will come out and they'll go. It's just symbolism and it's, it's, it's what the viewer can get from it really. I just tried to feed them good, you know, put good food out there for them to take in. There has to be an element of mystery, or it's not interesting to me. There has to be something to be revealed, but I think uh, the fun part of looking at art is, is getting to find that, or finding it for yourself. We have no plans other than the plan to be in love and to make art. It's just kind of the natural occurrence of life.